solar panel a blanket and it wasn't uh, wasn't really good wasn't pumping enough power so I thought this is gonna be a longer stay off grid how am I going to, uh, to run all my power supplies through my battery and have so much more power running through so spoke to the boys at the four wheel drive super center here in Bunbury and they suggested the uh, 160 watt fixed solar panel on the roof and boy has that changed all my supplies all my power supply so I'm gonna run through all that so stay tuned for that basically how I run all my power if you want to go full off-grid for a real basic beginner that is trying to get out there and enjoy the uh, the, the, the nature and just want to get out there and have fun with the family first of all I want to say a huge thank you to all the subscribers that have subscribed to our channel and uh, it means a it means a lot to our family and uh, if you do, do like kind of stuff and you do like getting out and exploring the, the nature and well then please uh, please do subscribe it really helps us we love getting out as a family and exploring oh, boat yeah wave bye and uh, just showing the boys how i used to live as a grown-up as a kid uh, we never made any videos or document what we did so this is going to be a good way for the kids to grow up and just enjoy enjoy being out in the outdoors hey tyler all the flies on you all right guys let's get into the fridge and the uh how we run all our power by the fixed solar panel let's go most of you would have seen my other solar um, episode I've done previously, um, probably about a year ago now. I'll put it in the link here, and I'll put it in the description below. But um, that was a real basic setup. I still got the same battery, still got the same fridge. They work really, really well. I just wasn't gonna get enough power supply with the solar blanket, so um, I've decided to go with the fixed solar panel and that has just pumped in so much more power you could be parked up traveling somewhere walking somewhere and you've always got power going straight in the solar panel into the battery into your power supplies here all right so i've got a um, big deep cycle battery in here fits in nicely with the uh titan rear system draw system which will be another episode down the track on my review of them so stay tuned for that so you'll have your battery inside your battery box. I think mine's a big deep cycle battery. Um, you'll have your, I'll take this off. You'll have your King's MPPT controller. That runs from, this is in the middle between the solar panel and the battery. So as you can see in the icons there, this one here, so this Anderson plug here goes from the solar panel and this other one here goes straight into the uh, battery box to uh, keep the power on the battery. I plug the fridge and freezer straight into the other Anderson plug to my battery box and that keeps the uh, fridge running full time. And I could be anywhere and it will still charge it up and still be fully charged no matter where. So in Shark Bay we did I think eight days or nine days off grid did not have a problem we had like two cloudy days in there as well um, did not have a problem it lasted so well we had lights running at night time um, we did multiple other things with the battery no issue at all all right so basically we plug this back in get the solar panel adapter that goes into the solar panel core that's running from the roof that goes in there and this just turns around and clicks into there and now there's full solar and the load going through so right now this is your gauge here saying I've got 13.0 volt all right, so I'll show you the solar panel. That's the solar panel there. Oh, 
the cord runs through the roof rack into this window here i will eventually drill a hole in there but not yet and that cable just runs straight down and into the cord here that's where it runs into where the battery sits so yeah the, the cord runs through the window um that, that, that's just the easy way of doing it put the window down um but i will eventually put a hole in the back of the canopy in the corner um with like a little rubber mount thing to just slide the cord through um, and that will be a, probably be a neater and better way of doing it. Um, I will get there eventually. Um, but with that solar panel, uh, there is bigger ones you can get. Um, and there's also a smaller one. I think that's one of 110 watt um, fixed solar panel. I went the 160 in the middle somewhere. And uh, I, to be honest, if, you, if, you, if you're going to live off grid full time, well then maybe go the big one. But that 160 one is perfect and uh it kept all our supplies running you know off grid for 10 days um i probably wouldn't do a any longer off grid than 10 days i don't think um i don't think we'll be doing anything more than 10 days off grid so especially with the kids and i but um yeah highly recommend the 160 watt uh fixed solar panel definitely is a bargain they do retail at like one 39 i think if you jump on the four wheel drive super central website or go in to go and see your local store they always have specials on um sign up for their bargain deals you'll get them every day and uh yeah i to be honest i've had king stuff for probably a year now and i have not faulted one thing um, I think it's how you use it and how you look after it. If you don't look after it, well then I think any product will fault. So I think King's Gear, okay, yes, it's cheap, but it gets you out, gets you out in the outdoors, and uh, they work. So King's 160 watt solar panel on the roof runs everything in our canopy. So you could be out like we are now. I've got my youngest one here. Um, I just went to school and we're just down here by the mouth of the uh, estuary in here in Bunbury and um, You can have the solar panel. The solar panel is running power now if it's in the sunlight We're just sitting here the battery's getting charged the fridge running power and if we wanted a drink yeah, You get your kids water bottle you got your drink You can put your kids fruit in there you can have anything in there and it's always there in the back of the car so if you haven't got yourself if you haven't got yourself a fridge or a battery and a solar panel just a real basic setup jump into full drive super center and uh grab your gear and just have a basic setup like i have it's a real beginner's guide and uh hey it gets us out there What I'll do now is I'll get the drone up and I'll show you a real picture of um, the 160 watt solar panel on the roof from the bird's eye view down and show you where we are here. It's a beautiful location, just gone into crabbing seasons. There's boats everywhere, dropping nets and uh, yeah, beautiful day in uh, Western Australia. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to show you how we have done our solar now. Um, and fixed it um, Like I said it works for us and I wouldn't go back to a solar blanket. No way You have to set it up pack it up put the leads out. It's just too much. So Really really good. We love it and I uh, hope you guys get some kind of um, Idea out of this and uh, Go for your life and try and get one in your car But until then guys I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year Next video will be out early next year um, which will be a camping mission with, our, with all the kids and the family going out for New Year's Eve. So we'll see you guys then. And two then, guys, have a safe, festive season, and we'll see you soon. See you guys.